Hi guys, today we're going to unbox and assemble the uh, destination e-bike rack from Hollywood Racks. We've got some information on the box, I'll show you. It says includes ramp for easy loading, for 2 inch hitches only, maximum weight per bike is 70 pounds, maximum tire width is 4.5 inches and maximum wheel base for the bikes is 50 inches. This is how it's going to look like and we also have some more information removable and expandable uh, ramp for easy bike loading folds and tilts for easy trunk access uh, no wobble system and we've got locking frame seat post grabber or clamps and this is our rack this is how it comes packaged First, this big part will go inside the hitch. It is recommended to assemble it this way. You install it inside the hitch, and then you will be able to install the rest of the parts. We'll show you what else comes in the box. First of all, this part. This is where our bikes will go. Uh, we've got a uh, number of bolts, straps, got the lock. Uh, we have the ramp here of course the manual and the set comes with uh, allen key and 13 millimeter range this means that you don't need to have any additional tools it all comes supplied in the set now you can insert uh, this pin to secure the hitch now we'll tighten this lever this uh, eliminates any wobble between the hitch receiver and uh, the frame of the rack when you guys do it make sure when you tighten it that it faces up or sideways like this so it, it shouldn't be facing down uh, because in this case it might hit the ground now we can install the lock on the other side of the pin Now we can install the T handle. And secure it with this clip on the other side. Now we will undo these straps. And uh, release these two levers. And this will allow us to raise this piece of frame. After you have raised it, secure it again with the same levers on both sides. And reattach the straps. In case if your rear door is closed like this, you can actually rotate this handle on the uh, frame and this will allow you to tilt it like uh, yes remove the handle and then you can tilt the frame like this and now you have access to the rear door tilt it back the next step will be to install this part Now we can install the bolts from the outside first. They'll go through this part and we have two bolts for this and two nuts. Now we will lift the rack and this will allow us to install the more bolts on the inside part. Don't forget about this one. And in this 
case we'll use two washers that come in the set and two more nuts. And in the end, don't forget about the plastic covers for all four bolts. Now we can install the wheel straps. Don't forget to install this uh, plastic piece. It, it is used as a cushion for your wheels. And we will install another one on this side. And this knob gets installed on the left. Now we can close the door in the vehicle and we can lift the rack. And uh, also don't forget to tighten this handle. The rack is now ready for the bikes to be loaded, but in case if you don't want to load them right away, you can actually fold it flat against the vehicle. Uh, for this, again, we first need to remove these rubber straps, undo the levers on both sides, then this bracket will fold. Now you guys will have to again reinstall uh, the strips. Now we need to remove uh, this pin and uh, this will allow us to lift the rack up. And the pin actually will go in the hole above uh, the previous one. Secure it again. And uh, yeah, this is a position that will allow you guys to, for the rack to be more compact. You can also readjust this big arm to properly secure it on the rack. Our rack assembly is complete. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will show you how to load the bikes and do more in-depth review of this rack in the next video.